In this video, we're going to have a look at folders and how you can use them to organize yourselves in Power BI service. We're going to look at how to enable them, how you can use them to organize yourself and some limitations to be aware of if you want to use this. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the concept of using folders is not actually unique, and it's something that a lot of you will be familiar with. But now this concept of organizing with folders is also now available in the Power BI service. So the idea is that you have workspaces, which you use to organize a lot of your Power BI items, your semantic models, your reports, your paginated reports. And then further within those workspaces, you can use folders inside these workspaces to create some more organization for yourself. So how do you get started creating folders? So here we are in my Power BI service. We are looking at my workspace, which has a bunch of various reports, semantic models, and other Power BI items that we would typically have in a workspace. Now, to create a folder, you would simply need to go to Create New, this button over here, and select Folder. Now, you'll notice that it's in preview, and that means that you will need to enable this in the Power BI desktop later to get started with it. But I, I believe that in the Power BI service itself, it's enabled by default. So you shouldn't really need to worry about this. So you give your folder a name. Let's say, let's create it as a test for now. And let's click Create. And there you go. You've already created your folder in the service. To move items into the folder, you simply select the items that you want to move with the tick box here and use this Move button, which lets you move your items into a folder that exists in your workspace. So at the moment, it's only showing us tests because that's the only folder that we have here. But if you have multiple folders, you can create new folders in, in here or move your items that you have selected to this folder or whatever folder that you select. You can also do these in bulk. So as we've selected just one item here, but you can select multiple items. And these will be, if you use this method, you will be able to move them all at the same time, something like this. So now if we go to that folder, you will see those folders or those items are moved in that folder. Aside from moving reports already published within the Power BI service into folders, you can also publish into folders directly from Power BI Desktop. So we're moving into this report that I created in Power BI Desktop. It's a very simple report with some uh, tables and some slicers. And let's say I want to publish this into the Power BI service, into my folder, my test folder that I've created. Now. Because it's a preview feature, you need to make sure that you enable this feature first because it won't be available by default. And to do that, you need to select the gear icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen. This will bring up the options menu. So you need to go to preview features from here and you need to make sure that this option publish dialog support folder selection is enabled. This will let you publish directly into folders within your workspaces as an option. So I have it already ticked, but just make sure that you tick it. Uh, and once you have selected it, just go back to your RBA reports in the desktop. And when you hit publish, You'll notice that the publish window is a little bit different than before. It doesn't just give you the option to publish into workspaces that exist in the Power BI service. You can also target directly the folders or folders that you can publish into, into those workspaces. So for example, like we have the tests folder here. This means that we can, if we wanted to publish that reports that we have from desktop into the service, directly into this, making, let's say, being organized a lot more efficient. The permissions that you need in order to access and work with folders is the same 
kind of permissions that you need to have for the workspaces. So the permission that you give to your users will determine what kind of actions they can take and do with this folders feature. So as you can see, the only limitation with folders is with the viewer where they'll be able to kind of look into your folders and view the items within them. But anything else that they want to do with folders, like creating folders, renaming them, or moving items in and out of the folders will be reserved for the other permission types. One cool thing about these folders in the Power BI service is that you can create the folders inside folders, which gives you a lot more control over you know, how you organize your items within these folders because you can create subfolders. Now there is a limit of, I believe, 10 subfolders. So you can have a depth more than that. Uh, but I believe it's more than sufficient for most use cases. For example, semantic model allows you to create display folders, which uh, it doesn't really let you do subfolders, which is a, a massive shame, but even that is more than enough for most of my use cases anyway. So to create a subfolder, you simply need to navigate to the folder that you have in the service. Like for example, this is the test folder that we have created. You simply hit the new here and select folder, and this will let you create another folder inside this folder. There we go. There are a bunch of limitations to sort of the naming conventions that you can use with these folders. There's a whole list of them. So some of the things uh, might be the 255 character limit, or that there are some kind of combination of strings that you can't use. You can have trailing spaces, or you can't have duplicate names within the same subfolder. So if you have a test folder already in your roots, you can have another test folder named inside this test folder. But I wouldn't worry so much about this because if it's not allowed, I'm sure Power BI will prevent you from naming them like that anyway. So although you can have folders within workspaces, which means you can have files in different folders inside these workspaces, when you're publishing reports into the Power BI service within those workspaces, these reports still need to be unique. So you can't have, let's say, the same report, same named report in the same workspace, but in different folders, it will be treated as, let's say, one file. So, so for example, if you publish the same report in the same workspace, but on a different folder, when you hit that publish button, it will simply overwrite that report in the folders that they're stored in, in the Power BI service. So it's not going to create a new one in a different folder in your workspace. It, if it has the same name, it will simply just overwrite it and not move that report. It will stay in the same place that you've put it in the folders. There are other limitations to this feature, but from my perspective, it's fairly straightforward. So uh, if you're still interested in learning more about these other limitations, I'll leave a link to the full blog post in the description box below so you can have a look at them for yourselves. And that's really it for this very short video. I hope you learned a little bit more about this folders feature and how you can start using them to organize yourselves in the Power BI service. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I'll have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.